What's up guys? Welcome to another video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining this journey. Today is an exciting one for me. It truly is an exciting one because this is the cheapest purchase I have made to date. I'm gonna show you guys a quick snippet of what I just purchased. Here it is guys. My cheapest purchase to date. Look at that. This was my winning bid, $25. I paid a $1 buyer fee and then this is the service fee that they charge on every vehicle, motorcycle, boat, whatever, uh, to basically take it out of the yard. And this is, I'm, I'm paying more for them to take it out of the yard than I'm paying for the whole darn scooter. All right, so here's some pictures. It's a 2013 Piaggio Typhoon. I don't know how to pronounce it. It does not start, but keys are present. I'm assuming the battery is dead. And on my other scooter that I picked up, if you guys saw the video, the battery was under here and you have to unscrew some bolts to get to it with a screwdriver. So I'm assuming and hoping that this is the same scenario. But look at this mileage, 678 miles. That's it. Don't really see any damage on it. Maybe a little bit right here dropped some plastics right here. But... I should be able to sell this thing as is if it runs and drives great with no issues and might need a new battery. But let's get back to the main video and head to the auction to pick this little scooter up. So the other scooter that I purchased was a little bit newer, but it had higher mileage, much higher. I mean, it was low mileage, but compared to this scooter, it was a lot higher. Uh, so what I did to that scooter is I put a new battery in it and I think I paid like 270 bucks for the other one and I sold it for 500 bucks so I made $200 I essentially didn't do anything but a new battery and then picking it up so I'm kind of hoping uh, same thing will be with this scooter is it just has a bad battery or they couldn't start it for whatever reason so hoping for a quick flip we'll see um, maybe I'll put a little bit of work into it but heading to the auction and look as soon as I leave it starts pouring out which is not good not happy about that but good news is summer is right around the corner soon I won't be uh, fighting with the rain fighting with this weather soon it'll be so nice out and I cannot wait but let's get to the auction get this thing picked up and see how it looks like last time when I picked up the moped today's auction day those guys can't get a jump going whatever they're using doesn't have enough power to get that thing started not too busy but definitely people around this is what Portland West looks like. Kind of feel bad for those BMW guys. That's the third time that guy's putting gas into it. He even pulled up his car and they're trying to jump start it, but it just click and nothing. It doesn't have enough juice to jump it. And it seems like that's a V8, the BMW, and the Mustang he has is a V6. I don't know how big the cables are, what gauge they are but it doesn't need gas, my dude. It needs more power to jumpstart the big engine. About the moped, guys. Like I said, this was my cheapest purchase yet. And this is probably one of the worst. Uh, it is beat up all around. And, uh, the peg that it st stands on when you lean the moped, it's pushing up against the tire as it is. So, can't even ride it. I don't know what I'm gonna do either. I mean, like I said, I don't wanna put money into this moped. Uh, maybe I'll list it for like 300 bucks, see if somebody wants to come by and snag it as is. Because once you fix it up, I mean, it's a like $2,500 scooter given with a clean title and whatnot. Um, so, if somebody wants a project, they'll come and snag it from me. 
I'll make a little bit of money, but I won't have to deal with it. But the main question is, will it start? So once I get home, I will show you guys what it looks like, the extent of the damage. I think the damage is worse than the other scooter that I bought. But that's how it goes sometimes, especially with uh, motorcycles and scooters. You can't really tell where the damage is a lot of the time from the pictures just because it's small and it's plastic pieces. You could catch a few things here and there. But if it runs, that will be the biggest plus. Um, we'll see if I'll throw any battery in it. They're not expensive for these scooters. Tis the season. Look, it was just dry, completely dry, because you guys could see that. And now it's pouring out. All right, let's, where to start? So, see that? This is really loose. Uh, broken right here. The mirror is missing. I could pull all this junk off. I don't need that. What else can I show you guys? So this is how essentially I transported it. So look at that. That could be the transmission right there. Busted. So this is bent and against the wheel. This is scratched off. So needless to say, this thing is beat up pretty good. I got plastics right there. But we're gonna get this thing unloaded. Look at that. I almost want to just take it apart and part it out. Looks hecka beat up. There's Sophia. This is my current project, waiting for the fender and door for this Mustang. This is probably the dirtiest car I've ever purchased, exterior-wise. Back to the moped. Boy, I don't even know. Like, literally everything on this thing is busted. Probably sell the wheels, the engine if it runs. I wonder where the battery is. Probably under here, under this cover. Now we got to the battery. One second, baby. Oh, look at that, it says no pets. Right, Sophia? Would a little dog fit in here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so too. All right, guys, moment of truth. Let's see if this thing will start. I can't even grab, oh, we got it. Oh. Uh, make sure it's not in gear so it doesn't roll It won't forward. be. Because it's an auto. Oh. My other one did the same thing. It took forever to start. So let's see if I'll do a note. So I gotta pull in. Uh, oil light is on, but that's, I think, normal it for motorcycles. Yet. All right, we're gonna mess with this, see if we can get it started. So look at this. Okay, do it, there you go, look at that. The throttle cables are broken, and we couldn't get it to start. So, considering how badly it is beat up, and how cheaply yeah. I got it, uh, I'm gonna do some research, see how much the parts are for these things, and maybe part it out. Maybe I'll get more money out of it that way, a little bit more work. But I'm sure this seat has to be worth something. I'm assuming at least a hundred bucks. Some of these trims. This is good. <coughs> Mirrors, not. Nah. But we'll see. We're gonna make a decision. I'll go from there. Those lights, tires are good. Exhaust, minor things, but I'm sure they'll add up. Alrighty guys, so well, thank you so much for joining today's video. Uh, it didn't go as planned and this scooter moped is beat up a lot more than I thought it was. But considering I'm only $80 into it, it's a 2013 with super low mileage. The engine clearly turns over, it doesn't start, I don't know why, but I am, I'm sure, I mean I'm not going to lose money on it. Question is, how much money will I actually make on it? But again, thank you for joining and I will see you guys in the next video.